Hey everyone, I'm David. I'm gonna start doing some videos. Um, get a lot of people asking me questions about a lot of different things, 5-9 Cummins related, welding, fabricating. So I'm gonna start making some videos, kind of go over some things I get asked about a lot. Uh, this first one is the HE341 and an HE351 swap onto a second gen style manifold or 12 valve Cummins. So I'm gonna go over what it takes to basically clock it, mount the wastegate, and get it set up second gen style. So let's check it out. So this is an HE341. It's been found on 030459 Cummins trucks. I'm gonna be swapping. I got this one here, which is a stock one. Um, basically, they come like this factory. This is on a 12 valve, but similar, close to the block straight down manifold and I'm putting it on a standard second gen style manifold so you're gonna have to take the center section out and there's pins that clock all this into a third gen style position basically just take it apart um, you're gonna want to pull those pins out of the housings and then you can rotate these however you need you know like any other turbo so to get the wastegate back on there a lot of guys run a spring gate which works pretty well but on the last few I've done I've used the stock actuator and just cut the bracket off of the housing and made my own like this this is identical to the last three I've made uh, they work really well and there's a perfect spot on the exhaust housing to drill and tap about a quarter to three-eighths of an inch deep just a couple quarter 20 bolts and then this can bolt right on and actuate the wastegate like it's supposed to let me get this bolted up and I'll show you how it looks all assembled so here it is bolted up uh, use a little red Loctite on these they get real tight good quarter inch or three-eighths of engagement and then that's the amount of preload you can set them to spray paint so this setup works pretty well. It's worked well in the past for me on 351s. This is a 341 for a compound setup. So it'll be fine with that smaller compressor wheel. Um, on the automatic trucks, you will have a coolant line that goes to the heat exchanger that gets in the way of this. Usually you have to pull the hard line out and put a rubber hose or something. Stick shifts, you won't have a problem. Um, so let's get this thing mounted up on this motor and see how it looks. Here it is, bolted up loosely for now. But this is basically how it'll be in the truck. See plenty of room to get your oil filter down there. Um, so on a second gen truck with the automatic, there is a line right in this area. But this is going in a manual. I'm not going to worry about it. Also plenty of room. I usually just mount this as close as I can to the cover with it still having a gap. We can spin this anywhere we have to now. Um, works well. Just a little short rubber hose from there to there. That's it. I'm going to do a compound kit on this too coming up with the S475. So, I've done a few other compound kits. Gonna start making more videos on it. This one's gonna be compounded, third gen style. This is going into a Ford F350, hopefully. So, I'm gonna do a couple mock ups, build a couple hot pipes, and uh, make a few more videos for you. Alright, guys, so that's gonna wrap it up. I'm going to start doing some videos, um, not sure how regularly yet, but I'd like to show everybody what I'm doing. I work on a lot of chassis, cars, trucks. Uh, I got a lot of projects around here that I've been working on. So I'm going to start sharing that with you guys. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun stuff. I really enjoy the 12 valve diesel stuff, but I do a lot of other stuff to make money. So um, yeah, looking forward to it.